Right, well, that was certainly an experience and uh, not one that I'm going to be rushing back into. Um, to conclude, uh, I am not a converted Moon Cup user by any means not by any means, and I have since ruminated on the problem, and it, it basically comes down to this. Uh, it comes down to circumference, because if you fold that and fold that, and then you've got finger space added, because you have got to grip that at the rim, you're looking at a very wide circumference. In comparison to, say, a super, which is just, what, a chubby finger, you know, completely different kettle of fish. You know, you have to be seriously relaxed, and I did try. You know, I did all my relaxation techniques and I'm not a quitter. If at first you don't succeed, try, try and try again. I went for it and it's just not for me to conclude. The Moon Cup is not for everybody. I'm a very delicate lady, you know, so I'm going to be sticking with my little mice. I, I call these mice because they have a little tail. <laughs> it's my silly thing. And as we have discovered, I have a very small little mouth hole. But do you know what I would rather have? a little mouth hole than a bucket fanny that could take one of those receptacles any day of the week. So, um, in short, I just have a very tight pussy. And do you know what I think it needs? I think it needs an applicator. I can't believe nobody has invented the moon cup applicator. And in fact, a good friend of mine from the salon said, Rita, right into Dragon's Den. You know, moon cup applicator. I could make a fortune. All it needs is a sheath that has a pointy tip possibly slightly lubricated, and that would slide up there. You know, as long as you were relaxed, there are relaxation techniques, but it's all that finger space, gripping, tension, and then it pings out. You just can't get it up. 